my channel I'm super excited because we have another review I feel like this year I've been doing reviews left and right and that's a good thing because that is a great way because a lot of people don't really do makeup tutorials like that but I still do but it's great to have reviews on this channel today I'm going to be reviewing the new part candy this is their Fake Brighten and Set Sheer Envy Loose Powder. This is all free. And I have the shade called Banana. It is ironic and it is so crazy. The last actual hard candy product was like a couple of years ago. And I had braids. Like, that's crazy. So on my face right now, I've already had my foundation because I really don't want this video to be super, super long and detailed. I wanted to be just right um, as far as focusing on this, but we may insert a couple of products to see how well the product absorb and everything and bring all together once everything is done. But foundation today, if you guys are curious of the foundation that I am using, it's the Maybelline Dream Radiant. This is their foundation. Love it. Love it. And yeah. so. It says here on the back, it says, Bake, brighten, and set your makeup or concealer with this multi-functional loose setting powder. Baking is a makeup artist technique that uses powder to set your foundation or concealer for crease proof all day wear, only five minutes to flawless. Baking directions inside. So I guess once you peel off the top part the directions are inside but I'm not the type that usually bake and in a sense lift here on the bottom this is giving some time for my foundation to actually settle while we're reviewing this so that's a good thing I am almost peeling up okay so inside you have the instructions and it's very very sticky so once you're able to get done with reviewing the instructions you can just peel it right back on so that's what that looks like it says in uh da, 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 where's the instructions the instructions are at this moment okay so it says you have to really like put your hand like you know how like you just have to have the product in their hand to show the product. This is kind of how like you have to do with the instructions. So it says how to bake. Apply your shade of camouflage concealer to your under eye area. To pack a generous layer of loose powder onto still well concealer. Three, allow your powder to bake into concealer for five to ten minutes and then dust off lightly with a fluffy brush and then okay so it has it in espanol i don't usually bake i don't usually take 10 to 15 minutes like seriously but um this is the packaging it's cute it's pink i love how cute that looks like look at that and it's yellow give me spring vibes and there's the back so if you guys are curious of what the back looks like and i have the number says 1910 so we're gonna since they're wanting us to really bake and use concealer I'm gonna apply concealer really quickly and concealer that I think I am going to use is the new makeup revolution and also my go-to concealer which I am about yeah guys I am just completely about out of this concealer and
Okay, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead to the powder. I know I look crazy. I know I look very yellow. Take like, look at that. That looks more orange. This does not look like a yellow banana. Heck no. But we're gonna test it out either way. We're gonna see what it's gonna be like. Ooh, girl, that's too much. I'm not really a baker. Whoa. So definitely a little goes definitely a long way. Good gracious. I like these type of powders, but then again, I don't. So we're just going to put this on our skin. <laughs> like, goodness gracious. It goes everywhere. So they said five minutes to bake. Which I don't think so. I don't think five minutes to bake is necessary. But <clears throat> we're going to work on it. Because this is looking more of a peach instead of a banana. I mean anything. But I don't like when a product is saying it's something and it's not nothing. You know, but if we're gonna take our <laughs> I look crazy, gotta look crazy. Oh, heck no, let me do this right quick. <laughs> Why take a picture? Like, good grief. <laughs> oh no, we ain't doing this. We ain't doing this. We ain't taking no thumbnails like this. This is. That's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm letting my product bake. Well, not my product, but um, oh, dang, it's so hard to get out of my shirt. So currently, as I'm trying to get product off of me, I am allowing product to settle into the skin. So I'm going to Instagram this really, really quickly. Ah, let's see how this goes. Let's see. Hey, you guys. So I'm currently testing out a product. And I look crazy. But I'm going to share with you guys the remaining process after everything is done. And it was a paddle trying to get this product on. Hey guys, so I am currently testing out a product and I look crazy. But I'm going to share with you guys. The product set itself to bake for 5 to 10 minutes and currently it's been like 3 minutes or so. By the way, so this product retails for $6.00. And that is really good for the price itself. And this is and this product is definitely found in any drug stores. And it says hard candy sheer envy bake brightness set loose finishing powder gives you the illusion of brighter, more radiant under eyes while working to help prevent creasing. So the best results is definitely five two minutes. That's what they're saying, even though I just just read that right about now. So that's what they're Claim it. And they're sold out on their website, which is that means this is a good thing. But you can get it, but you can get your hands on it more than likely um, at Walmart because that's where I pick mine up at. It says bake brighten and loose powder, so they have a lot of powders to choose from. But I think it's been five minutes. I'm super nervous, so it's been five minutes. And I'm gonna take a different type of powder brush to blend out and this is the essence of beauty I'm just gonna wipe it away okay so I don't really and the reason why I really don't really bake a lot because I just don't have time sometimes I just use a 
kabuki brush and when I use the kabuki brush I allow the powder to set on my skin and I allow it to set on my skin and then I pat it don't use too too much like I did in this video and then go from there let's get a closer up mirror so we can actually see what we're working with here because it kind of scares me a little bit just to see that much baking powder that I do did apply and then everything with the foundation but I am needing to really add some definition to my skin because I don't go out like this I don't really go out like this at all life in check so I personally like how I did settle onto the concealer don't get me wrong my concealer still feels good it does feel soft the only issue that I have to say about this product is that with it saying that it's a banana shade it looks more like, like a peach um it does it looks <laughs> it looks like a peach and it's just kind of like it looks good on camera but I wonder how it would look if you were up close and personal to me. Like everything looks on good on camera, especially with this new camera that I'm dealing with. It looks really, really good. Photo wise, um, I did have some good turnouts with some photos. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to rate this right now a 5. I'm going to give a full, full, full blown out rating because I'm going to come back and give another review in another upcoming video of this product. I just right now I'm going to just give it like a 5 right now because I want to say automatically, oh, it's a 10 when I haven't really got a chance to use, use it yet. So, or maybe I should just do like a first impression or something. Well, that's it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And I gotta go now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.